Kelsey Chestnut. 16 years old, you go out and kill one of the biggest birds in the state, that just makes me mad. If you'd have been a decent human being, you'd have called me and said, Tim Farmer, there's this huge turkey down here, why don't you come kill this turkey? Why didn't you do that? I wanted it for myself. Selfish, selfish, <laughs> selfish. Now, you uh, were, were you hunting with your dad? Yeah, Charlie. Charlie, we're gonna talk to him in a minute. Let's, first of all, let's talk, give us the hunt. You know how when you, when you come back to the house, you sit around the campfire and you tell your story. Tell us the story about this magnificent creature. Okay, well, it was like 4.30 in the morning. Ooh. And because we had to go to You're our farm. You're not supposed to shoot them at 4.30 in the morning. Oh, you mean <laughs> we you had, got up at Yeah, we got up at 4.30. Right, I was going to say, you don't even Because <laughs> we had to go to our farm in Clay County. Gotcha. And we got there and we geared up and stuff and we headed out to the field. We got in our blind and as soon as we sat down, there was like turkeys everywhere. That's a good thing. Yeah. A hen came down and walked through and then that's when my turkey came down. And as soon as he seen the decoy, he went over there and puffed up. What kind of decoy did you have? A hen. A hen? Yeah. That's my favorite, okay. <laughs> and then he like brushed up against it and stuff. And then Charlie was telling me to take my time and turn my safety off. And as soon as he puffed his neck up, I shot him. All right, yes. Good job. Now, you had no idea at the time that you had a record bird. No. I figured it was pretty big, but I didn't. Now, did Charlie run out and grab it and make sure it didn't run yeah, away? Yeah, Charlie was more excited than I was. Now, <laughs> once you got to the bird, he started saying, it's got he, multiple beers and stuff. Yeah, right? he was like, it's got three. No, it's got four. Once you got up to the bird, what were your thoughts? Just uh, excited. Uh, number one, for the rarity of, of a multiple bearded bird, four much beards. less four beards. Yeah. yeah. And, and of course excited for her to experience being able to get out and, and harvest a turkey like that, you know, or any turkey for that matter. Now tell me what you did and how you got the ball rolling to get your certificate. I actually called the taxidermist and he suggested that we look into entering it and getting official weights and whatnot, so, you know, so we proceeded and did that and learned shortly thereafter that it was, if it was accepted and things as it was, that it was going to take out a record that was, you know, over 15 years Tell old. Tell us the combination of, of lengths and, and that, that it takes to make a bird. Is it weight, length of beard, and spurs? Or? It is. It, there's a formula, and WTF uses a formula that they plug in uh, length of all beards, mm -hmm. which is what made this one score so well. Uh, the weight of the turkey and then also the uh, Spur length. What spurs. was the spur length and how much did it weigh? An inch and, a, inch and an eighth on both of the spurs and the weight was 23 and a half pounds. Wow. So a good sized turkey. You know? I got to give your uh, taxidermist props. Who did that? Uh, Donald Thomas with DT's taxidermy here. He did a really good Fall job. County. Yeah, he did. So she has the, what record is it she holds exactly? She holds the largest eastern turkey for a female in Kentucky. Wow. When you got the paperwork, well, you, I mean, was it just like, this is really cool? Yeah. Guys I mean, at school, they, you're shooting bigger turkey than them, did they even give you grief? Yeah, they were pretty jealous. Isn't there something about turkey season that's just special? It is. It's a special time. And just like you say, watching the the world come back, watching springtime come, come to life. watching everything flower and bloom and sneeze your head off from the allergies. And yeah. There's nothing like it. That's forever right there. That's right. And she's going to remember you taking her out years and years from now. We hope so. There's a lot of people in your school, maybe some young ladies who think, I'm not gonna do that. How would you encourage them to maybe go out and get involved themselves? I would just tell them to go out there and practice, I guess. Shoot, practice, make Shoot, sure, practice, look at that target. And then just get... go out there and kill you a turkey. And just like that? <laughs> yeah. And you'll have a it new might record. might be a record. It might be a record, but probably not quite to that degree. Mm -hmm.